Good morning, Village School, and welcome to our live newscast. Your newscasters are Jasneef from Mrs. Hartdorn's class. And also Jack from Mrs. Hartdorn's class. Today is Friday, October 14, 2011. It is day one. Today's character of education thought of the day is follow the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Now for, the, for today's weather. Today is expected to be cloudy with showers and thunderstorms. The current temperature is 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the high is expected to be 76 degrees Fahrenheit. The low this evening will be 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be partly sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 45. Looking at the radar, we see rain around the area, so it doesn't look like we will see the sun for the next two days. There will be indoor recess today. Today's lunch will be whole grain cheese or pepperoni pizza. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Today is the last day of Food Allergy Awareness Week at Village Elementary School. Hopefully everyone knew the answer to yesterday's trivia question. What does the acronym PAL stand for? PAL means protecting a life. Today's step in being a PAL is... Ask what your friends are allergic to and help them avoid it. Mr. Dolan will play the video, Friends Helping Friends. Make it your goal today at about 3 or 5. Map testing continues in the library, so please don't send down any students to return books. We would like to thank Mr. Rodriguez for his help with the news this past week. He's not only help, helps us with the news, but he's trying out for the Phillies to help, help them win another World Series. Good luck. Now for a much more serious message from Mr. Hadiger, Mr. Vaccaro, and Mr. Moore. Good morning, Village School, and happy Friday again. Um, I want to introduce to you two people that really don't need any introduction, who you know, our two day custodians, uh, Mr. Moore and Mr. Vaccaro. And uh, we're here to talk a little bit about the work of the custodians and also talk about a problem we've been having in Village School. So first, I just wanted to ask both of you to talk a little bit about the, the work that you do in a typical day, because I'm not sure the boys and girls really understand all that you do to keep our school clean and safe. Okay, well, we come in in the morning. Uh, Mr. Moore is uh, basically, he opens up the building, and he has to make sure all the lights are on in the bathrooms, checks all the bathrooms, make sure that everything is, is in order. Um, he makes sure that um, he's got classrooms to open. He checks all, all the hallways, and um, he also um, has to check the boiler room. We have to make sure that's safe for everybody in the building. Mm -hmm. um, basically, that's just part of what Mr. Moore has to do. Mm -hmm. I come in <clears throat> second um, behind Mr. Moore, and uh, same thing. We have um, we have classrooms to uh, open. We have copy rooms to open. Uh, my job, I have to make sure that um, all the uh, rooms look in order. The trash and so forth was taken care of. Um, the heat, the temperature is okay. Temperature, the correct, good. Correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. Okay. But um, we're we're very um, very. We want to try to keep the building as clean and as healthy as we can for everyone. It's right. Safe. Yeah, safe. And, and a lot of the boys and girls see you working in the, in the cafeteria, Mr. Moore. Tell, tell us a little bit about what you do there to make sure that everyone's safe. That's correct, Mr. Hadinger. What I do is I walk around and try and sweep up any big things that fall on the floor. And then if there's a spill or a, maybe a kid knocked over a milk, I'll mm -hmm. come over with the mop and mm -hmm. I'll clean it up for them. Yeah. In a lot of cases, though, if the boys and girls were more careful, you wouldn't have as much of that to do, and you could focus on wiping the tables and keeping it clean That's for true, the next Mr. lunch Hatch. coming in. And, of course, we have our all-important uh, PAL table, which we have need, need to keep uh, very safe for those children as well. Well, thanks. There are a lot more things that they do, boys and girls, but I want to talk a little bit about a, a huge problem we've been having at our school, and that's been bathroom vandalism. And it's been in both the boys' and the girls' room. Vandalism is when you ruin something or, or spoil it or destroy it so that other people can't use it. I know Miss Lacey and I and the teachers and a lot of you are really disgusted by the fact that there are children who continually go in and 
do all kinds of acts of vandalism, whether it's splashing water, clogging paper towels, and doing things much worse than that. Um, I want to ask, the, ask Mr. Moore and Mr. Ricardo what it's like when you have to go in and clean up a bathroom that you or the night custodians cleaned the night before <laughs> to make clean and safe for everybody. Well, you can speak. Mr. I, I was going to say the biggest drawback to that is we have to take it takes away from the other jobs we could be doing in the school sometimes I'll be working in the cafeteria and I'll get called away to go down and fix a bathroom problem and I won't be able to clean as much as I would like to in the cafeteria so the cafeteria isn't as clean as, as it needs to that's be that's true yeah. also um, we try to make it as healthy like I said again I'll repeat this again I can't be more stress on it. this I think like someone goes in and they and they, they, they wash their hands um, they can just like possibly wash your hands, shake their hands out a little bit, walk over to the paper towels, take off a, a, a small amount of paper towels, clean your hands. They don't need, I'm, I've gone in there several times, there's sometimes there's two and three feet of paper towel crumbled up and thrown on the floor and for no reason. And then also soap, splash soap around. Um, it just, it gets very slippery. Water, soap, you're walking through there, somebody can get injured. Um, I think a few children actually have slipped and done that. Yes. Yeah. What really bothers me too is that it shows a lack of responsibility, a lack of respect for the school, for others, for yourself, and also for the hard work that our two custodians do every day. So we really are here. The message here is, boys and girls, you need to use the bathrooms properly. And if you see someone vandalizing the bathrooms, you need to tell them to stop and then report it immediately to an adult. Uh, Ms. Lacey and I are going to be returning to news reports to talk about students who have done the right thing. And we really like to recognize a couple of children, Matt, Noah, and Dylan, who have already reported bathroom problems to us. And we've actually caught a couple of the people who have done that. And they've been had some consequences already. Also in the cafeteria, as Mr. Moore was talking about, Alexa, Alex, and Bobby have been really helpful by reporting and also by cleaning up. And we're very proud of them. We hope more of you will step up and do the right thing. But um, we really want to be able to go back to the honor system that we had before where you can sign out, go to the bathroom when you need to, and then come back as needed. But until Ms. Lacey and I and the custodians are convinced that everyone is following the rules, uh, we can't go back to the other system. We have to keep a very close eye on it, Mr. Moore, Mr. Vaccaro, Ms. Lacey, the teachers and I, and we're not going to tolerate any vandalism in our bathrooms because it's not fair to those students, and that's the majority of you, who treat the bathrooms properly just like you would your bathrooms at home. Remember the assembly program we had last week? CPR, Children Practicing Respect, and one of the important things they talked about was how to respect property of others. And our school is a property of everyone in this school. We all share it. So we all have a responsibility to treat it with respect and, and model responsibility. So I want to thank again those students who have done the right thing, and we're looking for more students to step forward and tell us if they see anything going on. And if you're one of those boys or girls that have done things you shouldn't, it needs to stop right now. And I want to thank our custodians for for very, very dutifully taking care of all the problems. But boys and girls, we need to make, let them do their jobs and not cleaning up things that shouldn't be happening. So Mr. Vicaro, Mr. Moore, thank you very much for taking thank the time. I know you have a very busy day ahead of you. Let's see if today is the beginning of no more messes in the bathrooms and the children can act the way they're supposed to in village school. Thank you. Thank so you. thank you. And I hope, I hope children start respecting you because you are very much an important part of our school team. So with that, thank you, boys and girls. Please take this message home, talk to your parents about it, and we want this problem to be fixed immediately. So with that, we'll turn it back to our newscasters to conclude our Friday edition of the news. Thank you. Thank you for that very important message. For the VS News Network, this is Jack signing off. And just Steve signing off. Tune in on Monday for another edition of VS News. Have a fantastic, fantastic Friday, Friday and, and a great, great weekend. weekend.